Each time the phone rang, I was hoping that it was midnight. Above everything else, I always pictured him as the man who could rescue me. I wonder what kind of game Soldier was playing, or if she even really knew him at all. If she knew him well, why didn't she have his phone number or address? A lot of people don't have phones, but everybody got an address. While filling in for Lauren, I got to watch Soldier more closely. Every now and then, she would ask me to file some papers away in the file cabinets in her bedroom. She had everything neatly arranged in alphabetical order. I checked under my name just to be sure she wasn't piling up no file on me. I even checked under M for midnight to see if she was holding out information I needed to have in my hands. No luck, no foul on me or him. So how did you meet my cousin? I asked her. I was learning how to hit her with the questions before she could start hitting me. She stopped writing in her notebook, dropped her pen on the paper, and leaned back in her chair. She looked like she was recalling images in her mind. The loud doorbell broke her mood and deaded my question. Without her even asking me to get the door, I zipped down the stairs. Lauren was standing there with a big smile on her face. Why didn't you use your key? I asked. I wanted you to come down so you could tell me what's going on up there before I step into the fire and get burnt. Your sister's mad, but she's more worried. If you just limp in, act like you hurt or like somebody mugged you or something, things will turn out better. We laugh. But get your ass upstairs. I'm tired of doing your work. Oh, girl, what happened with GS? I want to know everything. Lauren was excited. Shh. I'll tell you when we get to our room. Stay cool. Your sister's right in the living room, I warned her.